Oh, I wanted to watch this actually. Bye bye Immortals, the worst LCS team is done for good. What this past weekend meant and what 100 Thieves beating Immortals meant is that IMT is knocked out of playoffs and they continue the fact that they have never once had a winning season in the LCS. Never, uh, never above a 500 record because boy have I been waiting to tell this story. I will <laughs> add a precursor so to this. To Immortals fans, the players of Immortals, and the lower to mid-level staff. 2021 summer, they never had above a 50% win rate, really? God damn it, bro. They made playoffs. They were 20 and 25, close. In the franchise era, when did they come back? Se season 10? 8 and 10, they were close. 8 and 10, not bad. 2022? 5 and 13? Holy f they suck. God damn, that's generational terrible gameplay. That is a once in a lifetime organization app that obviously have no control over decisions over things that happen with the brand itself this is not towards you if anything this is a compassion and kind of not love letter this is very much a hate letter i hope you were able to resonate with some of what i'm saying and aggravation towards the people that screw oh, our mails in the back oh never mind. over your brand so fun fact I was actually banned from one Discord in my entire life, to my knowledge. Maybe I've been banned from others, and I don't know if I'm unbanned at this point. But it's the Immortals Discord. Because okay. if you don't know the history, Immortals bought Optic Spot in the LCS, and I've yep. been a diehard Greenwall fan since 2013. When trying to figure out whether I was going to become an Immortals fan and follow the remaining pieces of Optic or go elsewhere, I joined the Immortals Discord, as a lot of us who were Optic fans did, because we wanted to give it a chance. Like everybody. Bro, I respect that, being part of a fan base. You could never catch me dead in one of these Discords. It was on the same page, like, you know, maybe they'll keep some of the pieces and we go from there. And immediately there were problems. Within like a day or two, like some of the Immortals fans were picking fights with us because we were... Bro, Immortals used to have fans? Because like, dude, like when you watch Immortals content, like it is actually sad. It is actually insanely pathetic how little viewership the, the channel actually gets. Like they have 55,000 subscribers. They are trying to make content. They do epic ge an epic game show. There's no better duo than Tactical and Ole. 97 views, 120 views, 372 views, 390 views. Like how how can you actually get this little views on YouTube with like a like a production team, video editors, like you have a pro team in the LCS every week that like tens of thousands of people are watching your games every single week? How could you turn over such a, a low amount of viewership into your own content. And it feels like they're actually trying different things. It feels like they're actually trying. It's just no one cares about the team at all, bro. It's crazy, man. It is insane. High on Meteos, because this was back whenever Meteos and Dardock were on the Optic roster, and they were like, keep Dardock, get rid of Meteos. Meteos is trash. Dardock should have been starting. It's like, we literally have clips of Meteos saying that he was crushing Dardock's ass in scrims every single time. And Dardock okay. was like, yeah, he was kicking my ass, but you're going to sit here and tell me that Dardock was better? Okay, sure. But the chopping point came whenever I brought up the fact that Immortals brand in 2019 is not what it was whenever they left the LCS in 2017. And their capital problems that were brought on by Noah Winston and the fact that they had so many different investors that were kind of pulling the brand and like different, like you had no identity to what Immortals was other than this org that paid a stupid amount of money for good players during a time in which people were not overpaying. So whenever you're now in an era where everybody else is overpaying, what advantage do you have? What brand identity do you have? Oh, you have the Brazilian side with MIBR? That doesn't translate to North America. Hell no, bro. They have nothing. America. If anything, you might be better off keeping the optic name on there, which I'm glad they didn't do because they did that with Call of Duty. And I'm still sad to this day that the Immortals gaming crew or whatever the fuck their corporate thing is was ever once tied to Optic in any way, shape, or form. Six years later, look how Optic's doing. Look at how Immortals is doing. That's all you need to know. But yeah, the mods ended up banning me from that Discord, which immediately sealed... Like, I already knew I wasn't going to be a fan of Immortals by that point, but it was like, yeah, screw you guys. Like, any, and the fans were so delusional at that point, and so were, like, some of the people that Bro, were, like... there was actually discords in, like, 2018 that had, like, fans, and, like, people were, like, joining and talking about the LCS? Really? Bro, where did it all go wrong? What the f***, man?
making decisions that it just didn't click in my mind of like what identity do you have maybe you can prove me wrong over the next five years and prove that you you know what this brand that you had before was something that's worth having in the lcs and you can bring value to the league more than optic could due to our piss poor management of everything being structured on the or uh, fractured under the infinite esports days under chris cheney and crew but boy did you prove me right immortals in their last five years. Bro, it's kind of crazy that this guy got banned from a Discord like 40 years ago, six years ago, whatever. And he's like, and he actually hated the org forever because of that. Nice. Has been the single worst stain on the LCS that we have ever seen. Yep. An organization that at an upper management level has no directive at all on what they want from their brand other than just being in the LCS. They have no ability on how to build a fan base, on how to grow fans, on how to maintain a roster as seen by the fact that they fire their coach one split in after promising him two years to rebuild everything. And on top of that, here, here's the kicker and it's my favorite thing. Their latest YouTube video, okay, is under a minute, 10 seconds of which is end screen, 10 seconds of which is a full just progressive flow thing on it and it has no point but it's an advertisement one why the f oh why is that not a short first and foremost, anything under 60 seconds on youtube should be a short that should not be a video but clearly it's a video because it's a deliverable for a progressive because all this team is a fucking sellout that's all this corporate structure is so i hope every person that came into this brand from upper management milked this thing dry you just took it everything for what it's worth put this big progressive name on it which meant jack shit ruined everything i hope all you enjoy the cash that you got from this probably the little bit of elevated paychecks because i want you out of esports forever anybody that touched this immortals brand over the last five years in terms of like upper mid like people that actually make decisions on like the brand's future none of y'all should ever be in esports again you never got it you don't and you did a disservice to every single fan that actually was able to stay with immortals over the past five years you i mean the thing is that from like a management side of things immortals probably did better than a lot of teams because they realized pretty early on that they were going to max like that even if they were a top team like let's say they put in the money and they ended up being a top team and i'm not saying that this is actually a good thing to do but if you're super cynical and you think about what immortals did they realized super early on that they're getting paychecks from riot like they're getting a yearly stipend from riot and if they can just have that cover the product then they're actually like running cash neutral and eventually they'll get bought out right so they're not even actually losing money where all other teams are losing money pretty much um by just paying like random players because they can't get kicked so like they are probably one of the teams that did the best money wise in the franchise era because they just didn't spend anything you all the fans got screwed over by this group you should be so so mad at what they've done to your brand not and again, not that I necessarily agree that it had much value coming in in the first place, but you had a golden opportunity to build something and they did nothing. This is why you don't bring back brands unless there's actually a reason to bring them back and they actually carry weight this time. Like if Optic were to come back under the guise of Scump and Hex, that'd be different than just bringing back the Optic brand for the sake of bringing them back. And under the assumption that the players would do content, the team would do content that would interact with the Optic brand beyond that. That you bring back, but you don't just slap a logo on and be like, hey, we're back and think it's going to work because it freaking doesn't. So to whoever was the person that banned me from the Immortals Discord back when, suck it. There is no chance that this team is going to be in the LCS next year. If they are, somebody at Riot really needs to look in the damn mirror before making this decision because you're adding just as big of a stain onto the LCS's legacy if you keep this brand in the league for any longer than it needs to be, which should be one more week of games, and that's it. Again, commiserations to anybody that's losing their job and to the players that have had to deal with this organization over the years. And for the fans, you got screwed i hope you find a better home elsewhere and i pray to god you are still not supporting immortals and their upper management after all the decisions that have been made here again that's not on the day-to-day -day people like the content people and the crew that like sent me uh like their jersey a few weeks ago i know y'all are trying your best and you're trying to do well, somebody who knows something about immortals just sent me something reach with the Hold community on, let's, but let's the see people if I, i'm like asking if i could say this people that are above you set you up for failure and you know <laughs> holy fuck
So I just got inside information. Obviously, I'm not sure if this is 100% correct or not. This is somebody that just sent this to me right now who was at least like, I just knew what was going on inside of Immortals. Somebody who would know this type of stuff sent me that there was a year where the sales and partnerships side of Immortals, and I just asked him if I could say this, sold literally zero dollars in a quarter. Like they didn't, so like they have sales and partnerships, like this is like just a department. They have the brand, they have the team obviously like playing everything. They didn't sell one sponsorship. They sold literally zero dollars, zero deliverables for an entire quarter for three to four months. That is insane, bro. Zero dollars, bro. Like you couldn't get just like a YouTube fucking, uh, a YouTube pre-roll or some shit. You couldn't do like, like just a fucking $1,000 YouTube pre-roll where you just shout out a product for 60 seconds. Like, come on, bro. Person told me it was a horrible org. And I asked if he could say this, if I could say this. And he said, for sure, I got more in the clip. So God damn, wait, they actually were just part of LCS and selling nothing. Well played, bro. See, this is how business is actually, wor actually working. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I don't know, bro. The business of everything is, is completely f***ed. I mean, it's just over time, people just realized that there was never a positive return. Like most sponsorships, there just isn't a return because people see the amount of viewers, but it's just, dude, esports viewers just don't buy shit ever, bro. They just don't buy anything ever, man. Oh, that you've done the best that you can with the situation. Don't take it too hard. I think that's pretty much everything for this week's The Pit. I know I have really went off on Immortals on this. I've been waiting for this one for quite a long period of time, but I think we previewed all the matches. We didn't really talk about the week prior because I don't think it's really much relevant by the time uh, this Friday came around. Around. like there's really not much the past weeks kind of do with the exception of the 100 Thieves versus Shopify series and other than that we're just waiting for Impact to be crowned MVP so that's kind of just it yep, he should get MVP so thank you to everybody for tuning in I will catch you on next week's episode of the pit as we preview playoffs depending on who makes it and hopefully 100 Thieves doesn't miss it and I don't have to eat my words but we'll see see you later Okay, the 100 Thieves fan, just kidding, there's probably a lot of them.